What up though, y'all, it's Chris. Appreciate you connecting with me while I do today's 10,000 steps out here in Midtown in the residential part of it. I'm gonna make my way over to where I usually be at over there in a second. It's a, it's a fun day in Detroit today. We got the Wings playing today, they home opener. And we also got game four. Tigers in the playoffs this round against the Cleveland Guardians now. I don't know. I, I still don't like that name. I still think the Indians name and logo was uh, was top tier. And no native person that I've ever met ever had a complaint about the name or the logo. It's just more of the whole being offended on behalf of other people you know this is uh <laughs> it, it's it's a problem that honestly I, I could make a whole different video about it so i'm not even gonna dive into it here but the topic at hand is uh should you leave a man that only works eight hours a day i really recently saw this clip there's a gentleman he seemed like one of the one of the typical panderers you know there's there's a few of these guys out here that make a lot of money pandering to women, telling them all the things that they want to hear. Um, they, they oftentimes, you know, say all of the no accountability stuff that women love. Everything is his fault, sis. You were perfect in the relationship. It, isn't it funny how he gaslights you? I mean, apparently holding people accountable is gaslighting. But, oh boy. And when one goes away, when one gets exposed, there's always like, I don't know, I swear it's like three replaces one when one goes away. Because they see just how profitable telling women what they want to hear, like, truly is. These guys oftentimes, they they live very well. They They, they have a lot of money. They, um, they, you know, live, live very flashy. They've got some nice crib they living in, drive some nice car, all of the designer clothes, you know, everything. They really live in a flashy lifestyle, all funded by the women who they're pandering to. So I get why they're doing it. It's just I'm really surprised that women have not figured out what a grift this is. But nonetheless, should you leave a man who only works eight hours? Well, according to, to this particular guy who I saw in the clip, yes, you should leave a man if he's only working eight hours a day because what is he doing for the other 16 hours? Why isn't he dedicating at least, as he says, another eight hours more of that to provide trips and entertainment for them and the kids for her and the kids now i don't think you should leave a man because he works eight hours um i personally in this current economy i think you need to be working a minimum of 10 hours a week depending on your life situation possibly a minimum of 12 hours a week if that's in the form of a full-time job and then you got some part-time gig that you do afterwards, whatever. You know, if you working, if you working um eight hours, you know, for a nine to five, whatever that is, and then you leave out afterwards and you go do some Lyft or Uber for another four hours, hey, whatever. Right now, I really do think that you should work a minimum of 10 hours a day like that's that's for real because everything is expensive i see the prices of cars have went up uh what the heck did i see some f-150 that was like a a uh, hundred and twenty four thousand it's like what why in the world is a f-150 a hundred and twenty four thousand and it's usually because they the dealers they add these very silly uh, what is it aftermarket packages that they install on there with just these absurd markups so they're they're really ripping you off right now but cars are more expensive transportation as a whole is more expensive 
uh, if you get into Uber and Lyft, those cost a little more than they did before. The bus, I haven't been on a bus in a while, but I know that they restructured the way it worked. And I'm sure it's to make it more profitable for them or at least more effective uh, in terms of, you know, dollars and mileage with the gas. Gas going up the way that it has is just going to affect everything. There's no way around that. Gas, the prices of gas have went up. And these companies, they're not going to eat it. They're not going to eat it. They're going to make you eat it, the consumer. So everything goes up. But working eight hours, if you're just working eight hours, you probably could be doing more. That's just keeping it a buck. I'm not saying that you don't deserve to have a family, but if you're just working eight hours and you're struggling paycheck to paycheck, you probably could be doing more. So, you know, even though I'm like, oh, you should be dedicating eight hours additional to that uh, a 16 hour work day i'm not saying that because i mean if if you got a wife and kids you do have to show up at some point and be present in the household you can't just be working you know the, the bulk of the day because that's just 16 hours working if you are doing that that's not counting the time it takes you to get to and from whatever jobs that you're gonna do that depending on how far you have to travel is gonna end up being more time tacked on so let's say uh 18 hours let's say hypothetically you're gone from the house 18 hours there's 24 hours in a day you haven't seen your kids bro so I, i'm not i'm certainly not saying that you should be working 16 hour days there's nothing wrong with doing some 16 hour days for some overtime you know let's say for instance you work five days a week and you want to do two of those days or even three of those days 16 hour days well you still got two off days and you still got those other two days of the week where you're working your usual eight hours so you are still going to become present you know you are still going to be present around the house but 16 hour days if you work five days a week 16 hour days those two off days you're going to just spend crashing you know you, you're going to be out especially if you older all that working that you're doing it's gonna take its toll on you to where you're gonna have to spend your off days catching up on your sleep getting rested back up so you can do that grind all over again so that's just not really effective but his reasoning for working 16 hour days if you're gonna work 16 hour days fine but it has to be for something better than just to provide more trips and entertainment for her and the kids. That sounds insane. You are never going to gain any ground. If you're going to work 16 hour days, let's say you decide I'm going to spend the next six months working 16 hour days, five days a week. All right. That is a lofty goal, but you can do it. That's a huge undertaking, but you can do it. You just got to, you know, focus and stay on the grind you get out there you work you earn your money but you have to take that extra money and do something with it you have to save it you have to invest it you have to do something with it to where the sweat equity that you're putting in is going to make life comfortable for you later don't be going work and killing yourself like that just to provide more trips and entertainment for your wife and your children that's insane you are going to work yourself into an early grave and you're still not going to have nothing to show for it. So should you leave a man if he works eight hours uh, a day? Absolutely not. That's insane. And I think the craziest thing about this is it's going to be a bunch of women, single women, of course. These are single women because it's never it's never any women with any sense that are in a loving, healthy relationship that ever think this. It's going to be a bunch of bitter ass single women that have no man can't keep a man have no idea how to retain a man that's gonna be not in an agreement yup yup a real man will go work 24 hours a day seven days a week you know it's it's always those types you, you know and it it usually be the busted down types that never ever could attract the type of man that they want all they do is complain men this men that and they have higher standards and expectations for the man than they do themselves. You know the type.
all of the tats, all of the piercings, overweight, bad attitude. But, uh, you know, think that they deserve a top tier man to take care of them and they four kids by three men. <sighs> Ooh, I'm not gonna go down that. That's, that's a whole nother video for itself too. So I'm gonna leave it there. Appreciate y'all connecting with me. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Talk to y'all later. Peace.